Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. In this video we will look at changing states of matter in relation to the water cycle. Sometimes we can change the state of matter by changing the temperature. Ice is solid but when it is warm ice will melt into a liquid, water. When water is heated some of the water will evaporate into steam which is a gas. This process can be reversed. When steam is cooled, condensation occurs and water droplets are formed. When water is frozen, it turns back into ice. In nature, water constantly changes states of matter. We call this the water cycle. In very cold places like the top of mountains, water can freeze into ice and snow. The heat from the sun melts the ice causing it to turn into a liquid and flow down the mountains. The sun will then heat up the melted water, causing it to evaporate. In warm environments, the sun heats up the water faster, causing evaporation to happen more quickly. The process of heating and cooling water is called the water cycle. The heat from the sun causes the water to evaporate into a gas or water vapour. As the vapour rises, it cools down into water droplets, forming a cloud. This is called condensation. When the droplets become heavy, they fall down to earth as rain, sleet or snow, and this is known as precipitation. The water moves across the land in rivers and streams known as surface runoff. The water then collects once again in oceans and lakes. For your hands-on activity, create a model to show the different stages of the water cycle, including condensation and precipitation. You can also label your own diagram of the water cycle. For more information about this activity and more related activities, please go to handsoneducation.com states of matter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.